Hello, my name is Franklin and welcome to my channel. Today we have a Caterpillar 259B3. The customer says that it runs for a while. When it gets warmed up, one track locks up and only one side will move. So we're going to check it out, check the hydraulics, electrical, and check the drive motors and see what's wrong with it. Let's get to it. Okay, let's take a walk around here and see what's up with it. So, Caterpillar. Okay, he said it locks up. I asked him when was the last time he checked the uh, gear oil in it, and he said he hasn't, so we're going to check that out first. Uh, let's take a look in here. He said it's overheating also, so let's take a look. Uh, let's see what the deal is here. There's a latch here on the side to open it up. Let's pull it. Oops, I can see the problem right now. See this right here? The top of the muffler is broken off. What that does is it brings the exhaust up through here and out of the machine. But as you can see, see how the black sit all around there? This being broke off and this being down, all the heat and the exhaust set stays inside. So that means it's gonna, this little thing here, the bottom's gonna be full of soot because this fan here sucks air in through the here and blows it out to the top. So that means while the exhaust is inside, it's going to be sucking all that soot in through here and up through there also. So that means this bottom part of the radiator is going to have to be cleaned out. Uh, I'll ask them to do that themselves. I won't do that. But I'll have to change this muffler here. That should be fun. It's kind of hard to get to. So we'll change this muffler and uh, we'll check the gear oil. See how dirty it is? They probably haven't washed it ever. So what we'll do first is we'll take this right here. We'll take out this plug and that plug and we'll uh, see if, uh, the way you check it to see if, well, it should be full up to there. So if we put it backwards down to the bottom, we'll see if any, we'll check the bottom and see if any oil comes out of it. But let's check the other side, see if it's more level. Okay. We'll move it forward and put this in the, right there, it should be up to there, the level. So we'll pull this plug out here and see if any oil comes out at all. Okay, on these here, now, you see how this one here is below the middle? So there should be oil coming out of this one if I put it in there. I find it easier to use the T50 torque on these instead of an Allen wrench. They seem to catch better. Okay, there we go. Now it's loose. Pull that out of there. Or try. We'll just go ahead and pull it out like that. And oil should come out of there. See, nothing. My finger in there and go down, it's completely empty. Absolutely no oil. That's why it's locking up. And usually we put 80, 90 the gears are there. It's got a lot of gears. It should be like three, four gears in there. And I have to have oil up to this level right here. So, it's completely empty. Look at that. Nothing. So it should be filled up to this part right here. So we'll do the other side first. What you do is you put this up all the way up here and you fill it here until it comes out there. When it comes out there, it's full. We'll start with the other side because it's already lined up. And then you may have to move it back and forth. We'll have to move it back and forth to line this one up. Okay, let's go do the other side. Okay, I've already loosened this one up. I use the 1550 torque socket. It makes it easier for me. And if you see here, this is the 8090 gear oil. Took off this plate here. Check your, Mac, your owner's manual for your particular brand, make and model of machine that you have. Instead of making cutting the tips of all of them, I usually just cut one tip and use it for all the cans. So this is what I use for the last other side. Take it off and put it here. That way the other one will stay sealed. Okay, then we're going to add here until it comes out the other side, right there at the bottom. And squeezing in there good. Okay, it's emptying out. We'll see how much it takes. As long as this top hole is above that one, 
you know, above this line here, then you should be okay. Just squeeze it in there. And this is almost got a quart. Man, this like it was completely empty also. This thing is probably, I don't know, seven years old, maybe more, and uh, has never been checked. So you have to change these gear oils also. Sometimes you gotta drain them. If they haven't been drained and changed, you gotta drain them and change them. Uh, each machine is different. Each brand manufacturer is different. So you have to check your owner's manual and see how often it needs to be changed and how often it needs to be checked. This one is completely empty, so obviously it has never been checked because it does evaporate and dry out. Seep out, leak out, everything else. But it's definitely, this is almost empty. And I don't see anything yet. So, come on, baby. Yeah, see, it's all, okay, there it goes. See it coming out now? See, it's getting to the level now. So it is full now. Oops. See that now it's full. I took exactly one quart, the same as the other one. Okay, let's cap that one off. You see it coming up? We fill this one up, put a whole quart in there before it started coming out. That means it's probably never been done. We'll go ahead and put that back on. Then we'll get the rest of the drops in there. No need to leave a drop in the container. Anyway, that's full. So we'll go ahead and clean this one off. Put it on there as well. Just remember to put, as long as this outside one is up there above this one, then you're okay. And you always want to make sure that you check your manual to see uh, how often to check it and how often to drain it. Uh, some people check them once every two or three months. Some check them every week. But I'm going to tell you, this gear motor at Caterpillar is probably going to be around $5,000 if you're lucky. Because most of them are around $2,000. Caterpillar is really proud of the stuff and it's very expensive. So you don't want don't to not check it and add oil. Because that drive motor is very expensive. One of the most expensive components on the machine. Okay. Okay. Okay, see I have the two holes here. Two nuts, I put them right there. The two plugs, I mean, I'm sorry. And you fill it up here until it starts coming out here. That's when you know it's full. So, I'll take the cap here. Put the cap on it. Take that one off and put it on this one because it's already open. I'll use the same cap for all of them. So I'll have to cut another one. You kind of got to go slow so you don't spill. Because there's a gear right there, it's in the way. I'll go ahead and fill these up and I will get back when we get to the end. Okay, the idea is just to fill it up in here. It may take two or three or four. You can see it going down right there. You can see it falling down in the holder. I can see it coming down. But when it gets full, it'll come out of there. So, I'm sorry, but you can see the hole there. Okay, I believe we've got it full. See, I'm putting it in there. And it's coming out constantly at the bottom, see? See how it's coming out? Now, if you gotta do it really slow, otherwise it'll come out prematurely and it's not full. But you can see the puddle there. It's definitely full. It's not going down to the bottom anymore. So let's cap these off and go to the other side. I wanna thank you all for watching my video. I really appreciate it. If you don't mind, take a chance to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you in the next one.